Hey guys, welcome to another Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to try this Omaha Steaks. Uh, this one, Easy Meal for One by America's Original Butcher. This one is the Asian style beef and broccoli with rice. Um, and there's pretty much what it looks like. These were $10.99. You order them online. $10.99 for the meal. Eh, sounds a little pricey to me, but we'll see. Um, ready in minutes, perfectly plated. It is 12 ounces or 0.75 pounds, 340 grams. And it is frozen, so they ship it to you um, with dry ice. So... Let's see, it also says, um, there's a description, beef brisket, beef brisket, broccoli, edamame, and scallions in a complex Asian style sauce over jasmine rice. So, yeah, so that's the description. It is uh, 410 calories for the box, if you eat the whole thing. There's your other info. So let's see how you make this. Let's see, do not thaw or puncture. Self-venting package will inflate during cooking. Appliances may vary, so you have to adjust your time. So we're going to cook on high for three minutes, remove and lightly shake, and then cook for an additional two and a half minutes. Then we'll let it sit for two minutes, remove the film, stir, and then eat it. So we're gonna remove it from this. There's the meal. It's a like a plastic um, tray, and it's covered in, it's like vacuum sealed. So I'm gonna get this in the microwave, and I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave, and I haven't done anything to it, just took the plastic off. Um, the, um, you get a pretty decent amount of brisket there. That's really good. And the broccoli, I'm going to stir it kind of all up because I don't mind eating it all together anyway. But, uh, the plastic seal around the outside was really on there good. So you, um, you have to just be careful when you're opening the plastic that you don't burn yourself from the steam because there's quite a bit of steam in there. But, um, yeah, it looks pretty good. So I'm going to take this over the table, probably let it cool off for just a minute. I'll probably cut these brisket pieces and I'm just with my fork just to kind of pull them apart and just so it lasts a little longer. You don't want huge pieces of brisket uh, in each bite. You want to, you know, kind of cut it up to where you can get multiple bites. There we go. So that brisket reminds me of a really good roast. It's very tender. So yeah. So anyway, I'm going to let this cool off and uh, I'll be back. All right. So I gave it just a minute to cool off. Now I've got a bite of the, the brisket and the broccoli and the rice and the edamame and I think that's it. So here we go. Good flavor. Let me try a piece of broccoli by itself. Um, I'm impressed that the broccoli, they don't have a lot of stems. I mean, it's mostly the florets that have stems on, of course, but it's, it, almost every piece in here is the actual, the floret part. Texture-wise, it's, it's similar to what you would get in a casserole. It still has a little bit of crunch in the stem, but the, the floret itself is very tender. So, yeah, I don't have a problem with that at all. Let me try some of the rice and the edamame. The edamame is still firm. Um, it's not crunchy, which is a good thing, but it is still firm. And the, the meat itself was really t tender from the bite I got. Mm. Really good and tender, um, really like beefy flavor. What my problem with this is, it says it has um, an Asian style sauce. I don't really get a lot of the sauce flavor. Like you would expect Asian style to be more um, having a little bit of a, either a sweet and sour kind of flavor or a, a soy sauce kind of flavor. I'm not getting a lot of that. I'm mostly just getting um, the flavor of the the ingredients themselves the broccoli the the rice the um, the meat um, that's the flavors I'm getting more than anything you try another bite with everything you can tell it has a sauce in here it's like a, a light like tan color Only because it's on the rice. It's not like in the bottom of the, of the tray. Um, I think this is a good meal. I'm going to give it, as far as the components go, um, it's good. I'm going to give it, you know, I'm going to, honestly, I'm going to give it like a, I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five. It really is missing the Asian flavors. 
Um, it's got the basics. It's got the, the broccoli is good, the beef itself is good, the rice and the edamame. Those flavors individually are very, very good. But the sauce doesn't bring that Asian flavor that I'm looking for when I'm trying an Asian style meal. So uh, I think it's good. Definitely, I hate to say this, not worth $10.99. I mean, that's $11 for a meal. I can buy a lot for $11 um, and make a bunch of meals out of it and take them to work instead of just buying one meal for $11. Way, way, way too much money if you ask me. Um, and especially when it doesn't deliver on the flavor. If it had really delivered on the flavor, um, I might have said it's, it's more reasonable to get it. But for, for $11 for not delivering on that Asian style flavor, yeah, I, I just don't think it's worth it. So it's good. If you're already spending the money there, maybe you can get a discount on it. They do give discount codes quite often, but um, if you're gonna pay 11 bucks for it, it's not worth it. So three and a half for me out of five. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.